from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. And <laughs> it's like us 101. The ongoing on air adult education course teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. And if you're in another country, the country code is 1, the area code is 323, and the number is 520-6211. That's 1-323-520-6211. This is Mary on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Mary. Hi, Hi. I'm here to talk about my life. You're here to talk about your life? Yes, I am. All right. Tell us about your see, life. I, would, I want to see what you think about my life since you're on here talking about, about everybody else. I want to see if my life is going to, like, flip you out. You're probably going to say I'm, like, the stupidest female, which I already know. But I want to see what you got to say about me, okay? All right. Okay, I'm a 26-year-old female that lives in South Central Los Angeles. I have a six-year-old little boy, and I live with why do you, my boyfriend. Why do you have a six-year-old little boy? Let's start with that. Okay. I was only 19 when I fell in love with the guy that was the man of my dreams. I got pregnant. Why, do, why did you let that happen? Because I was in love. Why else? Because I thought the, he, was the, he was the one I wanted to well, wouldn't it be wise? Wouldn't with. it have been wise to wait until he married you? He did want to marry me. No, no, uh, no, no, no. Until he, not until he wanted to marry you, until he did marry you. Do you understand the difference between wanting to marry you and marrying you? Yes, but I don't want to marry him, and until this day, I still don't want but to marry him. But then if you him. don't want to marry him, why did you have a baby with him? Because I wanted a baby. You don't have to get married to have a baby. Why do you need to have a baby with him? Why not? Why do, first of all, 19 is too young to be having a baby. That's number that one. Is. Now, that's number one. Number two, why don't you do it the way people do it? Go to a sperm bank. Don't we? Go to a fertility <laughs> clinic. Why do you have to go have a baby with a particular individual who then is going to tell you like how to live your life and what to do? Because I thought he was the one. That's why. But you couldn't. That you would know he was the one if he married you. He wait, did, you. Oh, wait, watch your mouth. We're on the air. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. We, you didn't know we were on the air. Yeah, I did. But and, I, and and on what what on what family. planet do they let the, the f word on the air? What was that again? On what planet do they allow the f word on the air? Oh, I'm sorry about that. I keep forgetting. There's all people out there listening to what I gotta say. It's not just that. We're on the radio. Yeah, you're right. And it's illegal to curse on the radio. Yes, it is. And you just did it. And yes, I did. So you had a baby with somebody, and uh, tell me what kind of wonderful individual this was. He was good-looking, hard-working. He treated me so nice. He was just the best guy that you could find. So why didn't you want to marry him? Because I'm scared of marriage. Why are you scared of it? Because that means I'm going to have to be with him and with him only. So but you wanted to have a baby, but you wanted to have sex with whoever you want. Excuse me, what was that again? So you wanted to have a baby, and you wanted to have sex with whomever you please. Um, I wanted to have a baby and have him, but then again, go out, party, get drunk, smoke. What kind of a mother time. is that? 
That was then. I'm talking about then. But that was, so in other words, you were too immature. You did something stupid. Is that right? Uh-huh. Yeah, that was, you're right. That was stupid to do, wasn't it? Yeah, but after all, I have a wonderful, beautiful son, so... That's but you, but you could have had a wonderful, beautiful son when you were mature enough to have a baby. Yeah, but you don't think about stuff like that when you're only 19. Come on, now. That's, but the point is, I don't want... You know, you understand, we're, we're, this is a classroom, and we are talking in front of lots of others. And I want all the other 19-year-old idiots out there uh, to learn from your mistake. And it was a mistake, wasn't it? It was a mistake getting married, well, living with somebody thinking you were... Having a baby at 19, having a baby at 19 was wrong. It was wrong, and it was hard. It It made your life harder. What college did you go to, darling? I didn't even go to college. Yes, you went to Spread Your Legs University. That's where you went. Oh, hell no. If you curse again, I'm hanging up on you. (laughs) Yeah, I'm hanging up on you right now. Idiot. You are an idiot. You're right. Is that what she said? She is an idiot, stupid, whatever. <sighs> Holy Christ. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. And you see what kind of level of individual we're dealing with here. Let us say hello here to Robert on the Tom Likas show. How's it going, Tom? It's a pleasure and an honor to speak with you. I think you're doing everybody a, 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 I don't know, a favor by telling everybody what you have to say in your mind. So. Yeah. I wanted to tell you that much. Um, the reason I'm calling is uh, just to let you know that you've changed my life. Um, before, I was a stupid idiot who uh, who'd pretty much bend over backwards for a female. So, and after listening to you, um, I've actually changed all that. I, I never take any women out, and if it's anything, it's for a late-night rendezvous. How did it change? What happened? I don't know. I just got um, screwed over, you know, you know, over and over, and I just got tired of it. And, like, I don't know, I just... Listening to you, it's pretty much made me realize that you're right. You've been through it all, and and I should be, like, you know, listening to you instead of, like, being a retard out there in the streets with these women. Good for you. Yeah, actually, I want to tell you a little story. Um, I actually had a, a friend who tried to hook me up with one of her friends, and uh, it was cool. You know, she wanted to take me to a, her uh, college formal, and I was like, all right, I'm fine. You know, you know, this chick will pay for me, you know, because it's her formal. Why else would I go? So I decided to meet up with her one time and take her to the movies. So I know, kind of a big mistake, but um, she wanted to go watch, like, 27 Dresses or some stupid stuff. Oh, boy. Yeah, and I was like, oh, yeah, we'll go to the movies. And she's like, well, what should I wear? I want to dress up for dinner. I was like, well, I'm sorry. I got plans earlier, but I'll pick you up for the movies, right? And she was telling me, okay, well, 27 Dresses starts at 945. I was like, all right, that's cool. So when we get to the movies, like, I don't want to watch 27 Dresses. We end up watching Cloverfield. And I told her, hey, you know what? Whenever you start paying for the movies, we can watch whatever you want. But since I'm paying, we're going to watch Cloverfield. And that's how it ended. (laughs) (laughs) But check it out. Here's the funny part. Now, uh, she was going to tell me the official date for the formal, right, of course. Um, So she calls me and she said, yeah, the formal is going to be at um, at this blah, 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 and it's going to be on March 7th. I was like, all right, that's cool. Well, I guess I'll see you then. She's like, yeah, okay, well, I'll just go ahead and let you know how much tickets are. And I was like, well, for what? And I was like, this is your formal that you're inviting me to. Why am I going to pay? Am I making any sense, Tom? No, of course. Yeah, so uh, to make a long story short, um, I didn't end up going because she was like, okay, well, I'll call you and, and blah, blah, blah. So I guess um, – Listening to you saved me at least 80 bucks on stupid tickets for a formal that I had nothing to do with. Why would you want to go to one anyway, even if it was free? Uh, I don't know. Be- mm, to check out the other chicks? <laughs> no. Um, hey, Tom, um, I'm going to go ahead and let you go, but do you still got that uh, that kitty Meow Meow Mix song? Yes, we Oh, yes, yes, we can take you out with that. Are you ready? Meow, 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 meow. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. It's like us one oh one. I am your professor, David. Hello. Hey, hey, Tom. Hey. Hey, uh, I disagree with everything you have to say about women. Did you, uh, did, is your wife there with you, telling you what to say? No, I don't have a wife. Your girlfriend? Don't have a girlfriend. Mm. 
Well, I, I'm just saying, it's, it, this show should be called Professor David 101, How to Treat a Woman, not your one-on-one class. Oh, you're one of those uh, pussies who believes in treating a woman like gold, is that right? No, no, I'm just saying, if, if you, it's like hide-and-go-seek. If you, it, you're, you're hiding behind your money, and if you take the money away, you're an overweight old man. Well, uh, keep in mind, I have been getting laid my whole life, going way before I had this kind of money. You know, for half my life, I didn't have anything. Okay, and you don't have anything. I, oh, I, I forgot. No, no, no. I have I millions of dollars. I own real estate. I own two properties. Uh, one is 20 acres up in uh, Santa Barbara County. I own a house, a four-story house in the Hollywood Hills. Don't tell me I have nothing. So what? You know, you have no credibility. You just said I have nothing. You have no credibility. You know what? If you want to have credibility, tell the truth. Well, I'm telling the truth. I, I, I don't you, say you're, you're full of it. Don't tell me I have nothing. You, you you may not agree with what I say, but don't tell me I have nothing. It's just not true. Okay, then you do have things. Lots okay. of things. I'm a multimillionaire. Wow, you're a multimillionaire. Yes, but... I am. Okay, you are. I've accomplished way. High. I've accomplished way more than you will ever accomplish. That is true. There that we is go. True. That is true. But the thing is, I I I buy stuff for women all the time and. Well, no, I, I get that, 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 well, that's fantastic. But you would still get laid without spending anything. You'd probably get laid more. I don't know about that. I know uh, you don't know about that, but I do. But if, if there was a way I, I knew how to do that, I would. But Well, I just, uh, then if you don't believe that uh, what I'm saying works, go ahead and keep spending money on women. But the guys who follow this course are getting laid without spending money on women. It's that simple. And they call in all the time to report that that's what's happening. Well, all the guys that I usually listen to this are losers anyways. It's just... Well, fine. I know. And you're the big winner. You're the big... I am the big winner. The big spender out there. How much do you make, David? I make just 100000 I'm a car salesman. You're a car salesman. There we go. That's a very rewarding job there, David. Uh, where do you plan to take this? Uh, probably uh, own a dealership. Uh, I'm uh, like a sales manager now, closing deals. But I'm going to move up from that. Ooh. Really? Really? Very exciting. It is very exciting. And you yeah. went to which college, son? I went to Cal State San Bernardino for business. Uh-huh. That's right. And you saw, you're 26 and you're still the car sales. What's, uh, there's nothing wrong. It's a, it's a job and I like it. Well, and, but the, well, yeah. Well, the bottom line here is that people who are successful have moved on to something more prestigious by this age. They're only successful uh, because, of, yeah, yeah, all right, they are successful. More successful than you. Excuse me? They are more successful than you. Uh, it doesn't matter, but the thing it is... It doesn't I, matter. I, That's what people with, with no position and no success always say, that it doesn't matter. The people who have success, it doesn't matter. But, I mean, I get laid for buying stuff for women. Uh, with Fine! Products. That's great. You know what? Well, you can be like Elliot Spitzer. You can give women $4,700. They'll have sex with you, too. Uh, you know, there's no talent, no game involved in that. You've got no game, and that's why you have to spend money on women. End of story. Oh, I don't have any game. The only game that that's you correct. Have you have money. no game. The only game you have. If I spent money, that you could, you know what? That would be a valid criticism. If I spent the money on women the way you do, but I don't, and you do. Well, take the money away, and they know that. No matter. I don't spend it on women, and you do. End of story. I have game. You don't. I guarantee any woman that listens. You can't to this, guarantee anything. I You're a 26 year old car salesman. You're a loser. I'm not. That's enough. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Likus 101. I am your professor. More of your calls are coming up. Tom Likus. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Likus 101 ought to be a required course for every child entering elementary school. And then they should give it to them again in junior high. And they should give them a refresher course in high school. And if they ever make it to college, which I'm afraid most of your listeners don't, they should teach an advanced course. It's Likus 101 on the Tom Likus Show. It's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. The Tom Likas Show brought to you in part by H&R Block. You got people. For an office near you, go to 1-800-HR-BLOCK or visit hrblock.com. Mike is 101. I am your professor. 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. 
This is Chevelle on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi, Tom. Hi. Is that where you were conceived? I'm sorry? Were you conceived in a Chevelle? No. <laughs> I wish. Oh, that, that, where'd you get that name from? From my mom. Yeah, but there was a baseball player named Marquise Grissom. He used to play oh. for the Dodgers, among other teams. Okay. And he was conceived in the backseat of a Mercury Marquis. Oh, okay. Is that why his name's that? That's why I'm asking you if you were conceived in a Chevy Chevelle. I'll ask, but I I don't think so. Didn't you ever wonder how you got a name like that? It's not really a name. <laughs> it's the name of a car. Yes, yeah, that's, that's what everybody says. Yeah. Hey, real quick. Um, question. Yeah. Uh, I've been with this person eight years, and he's... Been married. He hasn't got divorced. You mean you've been you've been having sex with a married man for eight years? Well, he's technically married. No, he's not technically. No, 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 dear. For eight years. He's he's, but he's not technically married. He's married. He's married. Yeah, I guess has paper and all that stuff. And a wife. And a wife and kids. Right. And then I came along. And then we, like, okay, seen each other, things like that, friends. And now the years passed, so it's like, he's like, okay, I'm going to be getting divorced. Um, this is the next thing I'm going to do, and are we going to get married? And to me, it was like, I didn't mind. I was like, oh, I don't I don't need to get married. It's just a piece of paper. I, didn't, I feel like we're husband and wife, the way we live, right. with, you know, our lifestyle and stuff. So right. Like, well, you don't want to marry me. And I'm like, well, I don't know. I haven't, we haven't, you know, we're not married and it has, hasn't been an issue before. But now he's like, well, I need to know if you're going to want to marry me or we're going to get married. So I'm like, well, I don't really, it's not a big issue for me to get married. To not, I always thought we weren't because he's married. But he, I'm not clear on this. He wants to marry you or he doesn't? No, he says he does as soon as he fixes what he has to fix. But, but darling, if it's very simple. He hires an attorney. He gets a divorce. Right. Okay. It's that simple. Okay. So I guess he's like a procrastinator. He doesn't want it. to marry. He does not want to marry. No. Simple as that. <laughs> he would have done it already. That's what I said. Everybody tells me. I mean, it's like, I, I don't know if he has something to lose or if he's something afraid of, you know, or, or is it just that he just thinks, you know, it's not a big deal either or something. Well, he's got plenty to lose because in California, does he make any money? Yes, he does. What does he do for a living? Uh, he owns his own company. Right. So he probably stands to lose half of that. Still? Even though after eight years? He's been married. No, he is married. Yeah, and he has. So to. that has nothing to do with what his address is. He's married. Okay. Okay. So how about everything that we have, like our house, our cars, our... It's still... Everything still, that's his is half hers. Is still half hers. Everything. Everything. Every. Yeah, she's thing. pretty much told him, okay, it's just the paper, but you give me the divorce and it, you know, just half is mine. And right. Know, that okay. means half of everything that you own with him, half of his half is hers. Okay, so which is fine. She gets half and then they get divorced. Now, do I marry him? What for? Right, what for? Because I guess now I could say this is my. By husband. the way, he's not going to get a divorce. He's not, huh? No. You don't think so? Why would he do it? I don't know. I just what think for? He's fine because I've told him, you know, I can't live like this forever. You know, it's someone that still holds that. Oh, title. you've already done it, dear. What? You've already done it. Already done. It. I, still, I still have a chance, but you know, I'm still. No, busy. you don't. Good. Well, why hasn't he done it? No, that's that's what I don't know. The longer he's married, the more he will lose. Do you understand? I'm sorry. The, more, the, lo the longer he's married to her, the more he will lose. By the way, how long has he been married? Um, what, 18 years? 18 years. He will have to pay alimony forever. Forever, yeah, I, have, yeah, I know. Forever. Or until well, she fine. dies that's or gets fine. married. So, but I do. I should marry him then, right? For what? I'm not telling you, what you whether you should or shouldn't. He, it's not an issue. He doesn't want to marry you. Yes, he does. He has no, to. he doesn't. He has to. He, he doesn't have to. to do anything. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. <laughs> what you're 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 crazy. I'm crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. You're crazy. Yeah. He he's not going to marry you. No. No. Okay, but do you think he'll get divorced? Probably not. Probably not. 
Okay. Well. By the way, how many kids does he have? Five. Five children with, with one person? With her, yes. Yeah. And you forgot to tell us something that uh, you told Dean. Why don't you tell us what you told Dean about the two of you? Oh, he asked if I was his mistress. No, no. What? You have a baby with him. Yeah. How'd you forget that? Why are you having children with someone who's married to somebody else? Because it doesn't. It's okay. I'm okay with it. You're an idiot for doing that. (laughs) You're laughing. No, you know what? I wanted to hear that, really. You're an idiot for doing that. That's why I called you. You are an idiot for doing that. Okay. He's married to someone else. Mm-hmm. But he lives with me. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but, but he's paying to, to support them. No, but I mean, she has her life. She has her man. She has her, her own thing. She has nothing to do with us. It's, he is paying it. them. He's paying. Well, he has to. That's my point. Yeah, he, he only has, has to. to because he's married. No, yeah. Is that why? Right. Okay. And if he gets divorced, he's going to have to give her officially give her half of the business mm-hmm. and he's going to have to give her half of everything he's earned for 18 years. No, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, I know that. Not to you. By the way, and it, that, that means half of what he's earned. It doesn't, it also includes anything he spent on you. Oh, is that right? Of course. Yeah, I didn't know that. Well, it's everything. It's half of everything he earned. Okay. If he earned $100,000 a year, Mm-hmm. And he spent twenty thousand on you. That doesn't mean it's half of eighty thousand. Mm-hmm. It's half of a hundred thousand. Half of a hundred thousand. Yeah. So that means out of every hundred thousand, he'd have thirty thousand dollars left if you if he spent twenty thousand on you. In that case, see? In that case. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure he spends a lot on you. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. So that means if he got a divorce, he wouldn't have very much left. Okay. Think about it. No, I am. 18 years. How old was he 18 years ago? Who, me? Him. Him? 22? So he's he's been with her since he started his business. Yes. So way back when he was 22, he made like nothing, right? Right. So he owes her half of everything. Half of everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she'll take it. Yeah, you're right. Right. Yeah, okay. Good answer, Tom. So he's not divorcing her, and he's not marrying you. And you were an idiot to be having children with a guy like this, or to even think he's going to consider marrying you, because he's not. No, I know. And I told him I married. I told him I don't want to get married. It's not, it's not you know, for, you know forget the, that's not, that, that's part of the question. But now it's come up, and it's like, well, shoot, am I or am I not? Or what are we going to do? Or, um... And it's like, do I want his last name? Do I want my, you know, my son has his last name? And I just think that's probably the right thing to do at some times. But I could be wrong. The what's the right thing to do? To marry him. and for us to What for? Him. What's the purpose of it? I just thought it would be like normal or something. Darling, you, you're anything but normal. You don't care about, why do you suddenly care about normal? You have an affair. You have an affair with a married man. You move him in with you. He's got five children with somebody else, and then you have a child with him. What? Now you want to be normal? No, it's not that. It's never been normal. It's never going to be normal because that's just no, it does no, bad. no. It's and never going to be normal. It's never been earth. normal because you're not normal. Do you understand? <laughs> yes, I understand. Yes. You are not no. normal. But I'm not the only one that does that or has done that. Darling, there's very few people who take it as far as you have. Very, very few. Don't delude yourself. This is unusual. Mm -hmm. No, and and my plans are to be with him and stay with him. Fine, but just remember, uh, she owns half of everything that's his. No, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Everything. Yeah, I'm okay with that. She owns one quarter of the house you're living in. But it's not in his name. It's in my name. Doesn't matter. Does it matter? He's been paying the mortgage. Yeah, he has. So it doesn't matter whose name is on it. Okay. Did she sign a quit claim deed? No. No. That means one quarter of it is hers. Okay. Got it. Okay. In fact, uh, <laughs> I'm not an attorney. It could be a different percentage. It could be even more than that. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's the thing. I, I, I didn't know. I had no idea. And, and to me, this whole time, he... he 
makes it seem like he knows or what's going on and stuff. At the same time, it's like, well, how can you ask? But like you said, get an attorney. And he says he doesn't need one because he's just going to want him to pay. And he doesn't need an attorney because he's not getting divorced. Mm -hmm. That's why he doesn't need an attorney. Yeah, okay. Do you understand? I understand. Are you hearing that? Yes. He's not clear. getting a divorce. No, it's clear. It's clear. Right. Ever. And if he does, it's not to be with you. <laughs> okay. Okay, Tom. You do understand that? No, yeah. I, I and you are prepared that. to live with that for the rest of your life? Um, I have to be. I mean... Are you? You don't I have know. to be. You could leave. <laughs> yeah, I could leave. And there's been times where it's like, that's it, I quit, but... Didn't Why? I quit. Well, what do you mean, that's it, I quit? Why was that? Well, just because it's like, you're right, like I'm an idiot, or I feel like an idiot, or I don't want to be laughed at, or, or you know, looked at as his girlfriend, or you know, things like that. But I don't know. I don't know. Hello. I'm right here. You're there. Yes. I mean, I could keep going and keep saying, but I just, that was my main question. I, well, the thing is, I, I'm going to hang up uh, soon okay. here, but I want you to know okay. that uh, I think you're just as delusional as when you called in. Okay. I think you still think there's a possibility he'll get a divorce. Right? Right. Even though you're saying you're prepared to live with uh, him not getting a divorce, you still believe there's a chance of that. Mm -hmm. And you still believe he'll marry you. Yes, I do. Well, I thought I did. Well, <laughs> you're mistaken, and you're going to find out the hard way. And so is that poor kid you had, which was one of the stupidest things anybody's ever done. Shoot. Stupid. Yeah, and that's why it's like I, I don't want no more, and I told him. Why did you have one? It wasn't... You did it. Don't tell me it was an accident. You no, did that. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. You're right. It wasn't. Why did you do that? Because, um, like I said, I plan on being with him. And it's, I don't um, care what you plan on. It, it. He has a say in that, you know. Yeah, he does. And you don't know what he plans to do, but you went and had a baby anyway. A baby that now has five half-siblings. Yeah, he does. So that's why I think. Do you think he needs another sibling, like to grow up with him? Stop or? it. No more babies. Stop it. Stop being an idiot. Oh, You've already made real. enough mistakes. You've already hurt enough people. Stop. But everybody's okay. I mean, they get along with <laughs> Yeah, how did his wife feel when you first started banging him? How did she feel? Yeah, how did she feel when she found out that uh, you were having sex with him? She, I don't know. She was pissed, I guess. Oh, she was pissed, I guess. You're telling me everybody's fine. No, no. now everybody's fine. Because everybody's been forced fine. to live with the things you've done. Yeah, they have to. Yeah, well, guess what? That doesn't mean they're fine. That means they finally shut up. They finally shut up. That doesn't mean they're fine. Okay. Five children's father do, 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 have to live. The father lives without the children. The children don't have their father living with them because of you. Because of you. No, not because of me, because of him. He no, needs hey, 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 yeah. you didn't have to, you didn't have to let that happen. You didn't have to facilitate that. I didn't that. let nothing happen. I didn't. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Was he still married and living with no. his wife when you started no. having, to, so what? He was living in a cardboard box. No, he had his house. He sold, they sold their house and everything and, and he sold it and they lived their own way. She went her way, he went his. I mean, and he's still married. They haven't got divorced. No, no, no. When you started having sex with him, where did he live? He lives right here in Santa Monica. Well, w go back eight, eight years, whatever it is. Yeah. Right. When you met this guy, okay, where was he living? In his house. With, with his wife. No, with his mother. Where was his wife? In her house with her kids. Uh-huh. I see. So why was she pissed that you were having sex with him? Because I guess she didn't think it was real or didn't think it would last. I mean, she thinks that I was just out for his money, and, you know, I, I don't know what she thought. Yeah, well, she wants his money. Well, that's probably She true. doesn't want you getting his money. No, well, no. And so she, if he gets a divorce, she'll do everything she can to keep you from getting it. Trust me. No, yeah, I'm sure she will. I mean, but uh, that's fine with me. But you'd have it. It's fine with you, and then you'll have another baby with him, too. I know you're going to do it. 
I think about it, but I'm not sure. Oh, you, you're killing me, Larry. You're killing me. Sound like it. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. Tom, I just wanted to call up and just congratulate you on being the number one pick. It's the Tom Likey Show. Oh, yeah. It's the Tom Likey Show from Hollywood. Like is 101. I am your professor. 1-800-5800-TOM. Ole on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How you doing? Doing okay? Yeah, I just want to let you know, man, you changed my life pretty good before. I mean, before I uh, listened to you at my new job, or my old job, I should say, I was dating this girl who uh, pretty much was dating her for about six, seven months, and she was trying to tell us to uh, put, like, our credit cards together because, you know, I had good credit and everything, and she was a little bit younger than me, so... Uh, long story short, she kind of, like, kept on dropping all these hints of, like, trying to, you know, trying to move in, like, re- redirecting, redoing the bathroom and everything. And then one day, my friend was going to the bathroom, and he found out that uh, he saw tampons in the drawer, and I kind of just lost it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> ran out of toilet paper. He asked me where the toilet paper is. I tell him under the sink, and, oh, I just flipped out, called her, told her, you know, what's going on, you know, and then later on, you know, just like you said, um, you're as you're as loyal as your options. Started going out with other girls and then had more fun with this girl. She kept on trying to, you know, like kind of almost like putting marriage upon you, but without like trying to consolidate everything. And put, right. You know, I don't know. And then later on, I, you know, I got sick of it. So I DT beat her, just like you said, because I started listening to you. And I was like, I don't need this type of girl in my life. And so later on, find out a couple, like not even, I want to, not exaggerating, like three weeks later, if not two, I find out that she's married, and she's married to this poor sucker who has like a Chevy tattoo. (laughs) And it's all over her MySpace saying, oh, I'm so glad I married you and all this stuff, and I'm just so glad that... (laughs) <laughs> that could have been yours. Yeah, exactly. I am so glad that I listened to you because I tell my friends day in and day out that that could have been me. You know, she was good and everything in the bed and everything, but I'd rather be free, and I'm listening to all your rules, and I, I get more ass in the toilet seat, just like you say. And has she had the baby yet? Uh, you know, I don't know. I should probably check on her MySpace and see, but I wouldn't doubt it because she kept on trying to talk about how she always wanted a baby and all this stuff, and I was like, yeah, you need to... I would be like, okay, I need to go get a beer. <laughs> Thank you, Oli, for the call. Love hearing about that. Tracy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. 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 Yes. Tom? Is your radio turned on? No, let me lower it. Didn't Dean tell you that 36 minutes and 32 seconds ago? Yeah, I'm really sorry, Tom, but I just wanted to let you know you spent way too much time educating that stupid woman. Uh, you know, I'll Mary. tell you what. Are you a programming consultant? Uh, no, but my... Are, are, you, are you a program director? No! Or do you have a degree in broadcasting? No, Then Tom, what but... puts you in the position to tell me how to do this show? I'm not trying I don't to need your help here. Is. I've been doing just fine without you, you. Then don't tell me how long I should be spending with people on the phone. If okay. you don't like it, turn it off. Okay, but can I say one thing? Not about that, you can't. Okay. If you try to say something about it, I'm going to hang up, so don't okay. even try. I, I will, I promise. Why do you bash women so much? Uh, give me you an know, example. I don't hear it. Good women. I don't hear it. Give me an example. Like tell the other person to shut up, too. Okay, um, Kelly, Tom Likas just told you to shut up. Me? Yeah. Why? She said why? Because I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to her. I don't need her coaching you. I don't need her interrupting our conversation. If you don't, okay, if you can't you devote your time talking to me, I'm gone. Okay, it's me and you. Okay, but- Goodbye. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. You girls work that out, will you? Lauren on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Yes. I love you. Um, Long time listener, first time caller. Thank you, darling. Do what? I said thank you, darling. Oh, you're welcome. 
Um, Long I'm time listener, first time caller. Hello? Yes, I'm here. I'm sorry. Okay, I, I could hear that other lady on that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, sorry, I'm, darling. Please don't yell at me like that last girl. Okay. Um, I'm 25, and I have a five-year-old, a single mom. Why'd you do um, that? I know. I know you're going to ask me that. Um, I was naive and dumb and 19, and yes, it was a mistake. But yes. I do have a great kid and moving forward. Um, I'm in a very male-dominated business world, and... Yes, I get lots of, you know, I'm attractive and young and get lots of older guys hitting on me, but I just can't find, like, a decent guy. And I know you tell your guys to treat us like crap, so try to stay away from What do you mean about a decent guy? <laughs> How do you define a decent guy? <laughs> um, maybe I, I have standards, so I want them to be successful like me. And Why would a successful guy want some other man's leftovers? I don't want him to... I don't want him to be a dad for my child. He has a dad. I'm not. I'm looking. That's for not, but that's not the point. Eventually, that that child, who is your responsibility and the responsibility of his father, is going to end up being a burden in one way or another to any man who gets involved with you. A successful man does right. not need to be with a woman like you. Hmm. Well, now, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings because I know you're a fan and everything. I'm trying to give you an honest answer. I, and I I'm a successful it. man. If I met a woman with a five-year-old child, uh, she might be a very nice person, could be very attractive. But I would say, uh, no, I, I don't want to be in a relationship that might end up with your child living in my house. Right. Well, then what do I do? Am I just forever going to be single? It's you know, not that you'll be right? single, but you have you said you have standards. And what's going to happen is you have to lower your sights. Did you <laughs> Did you read the article that we linked on our website about settling? I am not going to settle. Well, if, if guess I what? If I settle, then I will be single for the rest of my life. I'm Maybe very so. happy on my own. And I have lots of dates and I have lots of fun, but it's just but never anybody that I... If I've... you want a man, you're going to have to settle for less than what you were expecting to get. <laughs> uh, I mean, you don't think about it from the male point of view. What's in it I for do, us? I do. No, absolutely, because... Not to I mean, mention you have the father of that child hovering around all the time. How about this? How about this? Tell me... If this doesn't make sense, if a guy has a kid and he's a single dad, girls are more likely to date them, and they will take... I'm not saying other. it's fair. It's just the way it is. Right. Well, then why is that? I mean... Because if a guy has a dog, women go, oh, look how cute he has a no. cute dog. Look at him. <laughs> look how he treats his dog. Isn't that cute? Oh, he has a no, cat. I'm not one of those dumb girls it's who that, well, it. Like I get women, or... women who are like women who say, oh, look, he's a dad. Oh, look. Uh, they're the same kind of women. Oh, that's sad. That's what it is. It's the same kind of girl that will put her tampons in that guy's drawer. Right. You know? <laughs> what's in it for a guy? Uh, let's say, I mean, look, I'm not saying you would have any interest in me, but let's say you did, okay? Let's say I met you, and here I am. I'm a multimillionaire. I have a house with every toy in the world, four floors with lots of stairs that a kid could fall down. Now, I meet you, and you've got a five-year-old kid. Do I really want to put gates up and child-proof my house so one day you can come visit? No, I, but he's five years old. That's kindergarten. That's I got kindergarten. windows he could fall out of that were built before they had a building code. I have a house built in 1925 with windows so low, your kid could look out and fall out. Do I really want to childproof my home so you can come over? Do I want to see you only when you have child care available to you? Nope. Do I want to have a date, just the three of us? Uh-uh. That's my point. Why would any successful man tolerate that? So what you get down to is guys who are less educated, less successful, make lower incomes. They have to settle. And so they have to be with somebody like you. No. But I don't have to settle. Well, I appreciate your advice, but I'm totally not going to settle. You sound like a very nice person. I'm just being honest with you. Oh, and I appreciate that. That's why I love you. I love listening to you. I think you're... I, I even like what you tell the guys. I think it's hysterical. At least I know what they're thinking, you know? Yes. It's helpful. I'm sure it is. Yeah. Well, that's that's my goal here, Lauren, to help you and everybody else. Our email address is my name, Tom, at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.